What's going on there guys? Good evening. Uh, the Earthmaster here on this uh, Sunday evening, end of the weekend, unfortunately. December 5th, 2021, about 6.30 p.m. California time. And it looks like the latest quake, a uh, pretty deep earthquake out there around Fiji Islands just coming in uh, within the last hour or so, 4.6 at uh, 547 kilometers below the surface. So a little bit of earthquake activity to talk about since the update video earlier uh, during the day today, including some activity around the uh, mid Indian Ocean, it looks like over here with the Australia and the African plate, uh, a little uh, divergent boundary action out here, 5.4 striking in this region of the world, pretty shallow earthquake, 10 kilometers uh, for that uh, Indian Ocean earthquake. There's the uh, activity around the Fiji Islands, seen a swarm of movement also in that area with that deep five or with that deep 4.6 uh, once again 547 kilometers pretty uh, deep earthquake for that region uh, working our way over here to the west we did see some further movement uh, throughout the day today uh, with the 5.0 further west over here and also some activity around the Papua New Guinea region a little bit of activity some forest kicking off in that area of the world also uh, 4.6 near uh, this area of Japan not even going to attempt to uh, say that word that's kind of a kind of a good one there I'm not even gonna slaughter that place not good uh, 48 kilometers for that little earthquake at 4.6 uh, west coast here we did see some activity kick up into the Washington region the 3.0 this was originally a 3.6 that uh, kicked up there, kind of a little swarm of earthquake activity stretching up into Washington and I'm sure parts of Canada potentially. Uh, I was looking at the activity um, in the uh, Can uh, Canadian region. Not a whole lot of new movement. You can see that activity stretching up there. Over the last week, of course, activity off the coast there at the northern end of the Cascadia and some activity further west or uh, further north into the Alaska area. But uh, I'm not looking at uh, any newer activity kicking up in the uh, Canadian region. Southern California activity kind of kicking up as well with the San Jacinto fault area primarily seeing a lot of activity up and down that uh, fault system right there and also down south in the Imperial uh, Valley this, this little specific fault zone here seeing some uh, renewed earthquake activity over the last hour or so, uh, or at least the last couple hours, we've seen activity die down here in the Gulf of California, but uh, still kind of keeping an eye on that region there. We've seen a swarm of earthquake activity in the four range, mid and upper four range over the last week. Uh, pretty good handful of earthquake activity there, so don't let this little quiet spell fool you. Um, in Oklahoma, things kind of slowing down, not a whole lot of movement out there in the southern plains or the eastern parts of the country. Uh, some activity was ramping up here within the last hour or so with a 5.1 off the coast of Mexico into the Middle America Trench, 33.2 kilometers for that uh, earthquake that struck just a short time ago. Also, uh, looks like some movement down south of there as well, uh, right off the coast here, but also into the Middle America Trench for that region. South America remains uh, still very quiet. We did see some activity in the uh, South Sandwich Islands region with the 5.7 throughout the day today. 51 kilometers into the subduction zone, also off the coast of Chile, into the uh, Chile Rise region. Some uh, surface quaking out there in the ocean, 5.1. And also further up north here, uh, some activity in the subduction zone of the Peru Chile Trench with a 5.2 at uh, 107 kilometers below the surface for that earthquake. See what else we got going on here, folks. Just a little bit of scattered movement all around the globe. Hawaii uh, calming down within the last hour. Not a whole lot of movement there. We did see a little activity stretch out to the uh, Lohi Seamount and an earthquake around the Mauna Loa region with 2.6. But uh, things kind of calming down in that area of the Pacific. Trimmer map tonight shows a few trimmers along the uh, Oregon coastal ranges over there. I should say underneath them. Cascadia subduction zone sits underneath here. And of course, uh, what do we got? About 20, 29 epicenters of trimmer uh, kicking up in this region 
and just haven't seen a whole lot of activity over the last week just kind of diminishing over the last couple weeks and uh just waiting to see if this thing's going to kick back up or not just uh kind of playing it by ear seeing what happens with the trimmer something to watch pretty closely <clears throat> yellowstone national park uh pretty quiet go ahead and check this out I did have it there we go a little bit of movement uh it looks like around the northwestern part of the park not a whole lot of activity just a little microquake it looks like uh, very small earthquake uh, localized in that region so and of course solar weather activity pretty calm not a whole lot of movement on the sun Let's see if I can get that page to pop up here let's see here where did we go do 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 not for sure what's going on not for sure what's going on with that the site can't be reached that site looks like it's down uh, unfortunately um, as far as let's see if we can get into the space weather website uh, looks like that solar ham site is down far side solar activity uh, exploding a lot at least three CMEs have flown over the south southwestern limb some earthquake activity in them flare it looks like solar flare that was back on uh, well yeah that was earlier today out of reach of course from the earth it looks like um, solar activity earth side is pretty dim um, let's see showing some signs of life with new sunspots popping up here that's gonna be 2902 and 2901 yeah, it looks like 2904 is pretty degraded there but uh, Either way, activity kind of ramping up a little bit. Roars look pretty uh, quiet for the most part now. Have a good night, folks. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Stay safe out there. Enjoy your Monday. And uh, we will chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out.